Hey guys, so today is a kind of last summer video collab with Crafty Angie on YouTube. She makes some really cool videos, so you should definitely go check her out. So for today's collab video, she's making a Perler Bead 3D Popsicle keychain. They look really cool, and I'm excited to learn how to make them myself, so definitely go check that out. The link will be on the screen right now. Also, with the little circle with the eye in it at the top of the screen if you're on a mobile device or in the description box. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It is another duct tape tutorial. I'm going to be doing a DIY sunglasses case, obviously, as you guys can see right now. And yeah, so I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, share it, and favorite it as well. And please comment below video ideas if you'd like to see a certain video from me. I will be more than happy to do it. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So for this, you're going to need a cutting mat, a ruler is optional, a craft knife, sunglasses, and I'm just using my sunglasses as you can see. And what I was basically pointing to there was you're going to want the length, the width, and the depth already measured out. And you'll also need duct tape. I'm using the new mint green and the neon houndstooth. So I'm cutting two strips of my duct tape for the inside of the sunglasses case. I'm using mint green for the inside color that are seven and a half inches long. My sunglasses major seven inches long, so I wanted to add a half an inch to make sure we have enough room and everything inside of our sunglasses case. And then I'm adding three inches to another strip, so I'm going to cut it at ten and a half inches. So if you have a strip of tape, if your sunglasses are longer than seven inches and you need to make it longer, say you have an eight inch strip, then you're going to add three inches to that, so it'd be 11 inches. Mine, since it's seven and a half inch strips, I'm going to cut a longer strip, which is ten and a half inches. I just added three inches to it, so hopefully that makes sense. And I'm just going to set that aside. So now then with my second seven and a half inch strip, I'm just going to cut that in half. So that way it's not so wide, of course. And you can use a ruler for this part, I just didn't. And then with one of those half inch strips, I'm going to overlap it over the first seven and a half inch strip so that it is two and a half inches wide. And I know you can't really see it, it's not really in the frame, I totally did not notice that. So I apologize about that, but it's really not too complicated, so hopefully you guys understand. So now I'm just laying down that seven and a half inch by two and a half inch wide strip of tape in the middle of my cutting mat. And then taking the ten and a half inch strip that we made earlier and just overlapping it a little bit and basically the ten and a half inch strip we want to make sure we get it in the middle so that there's even amount of tape on both sides because that's going to be for the sides of our sunglasses case so that way our sunglasses case isn't flat so now i'm just adding another seven and a half inch strip of our tape over the ten and a half inch one just overlapping it about a quarter of an inch or so I'm just taking that seven and a half inch strip that we cut in half earlier and just placing it on there again to make it two and a half inches wide and then I'm just laying down another seven and a half inch strip. And then I'm just gonna lay down one more, and this is gonna be for the flap. So I basically just laid half of this strip on the cutting mat, and then the other half obviously went on the duct tape because I didn't want it to be too terribly long of a flap because then it would hang over our sunglasses case. So now then I just flipped our duct tape fabric over so that it was sticky side up and now I'm just overlapping it with my outside color or a rather pattern which is Neon Houndstooth. And I'm just making sure that I have at least a 3 8 inch sticky on all sides. I have more than that but I'm going to trim it down later. So now I'm just showing you here the boxes that I'm cutting out of the corners. So I'm going to cut it out of the four main corners and then the two corners of the sides of our sunglasses case which you will see here as I'm doing right now. So now I'm going to fold over the top and bottom pieces of our sunglasses case to make a rounded edge as opposed to a raw edge. So you don't want to cut those off, just fold them on over. And you can trim them down so that way they're not so wide if you have a lot of tape, you can trim those down. And now I'm going to fold over the two little pieces where the sides of our sunglasses case are going to be. I just trimmed this one down because I thought it was a little too long, so that's all I'm doing here. And now we're going to cut little slits uh, for the sides of our sunglasses case. So it's kind of hard to explain, so hopefully you can just kind of watch me and see what I'm doing. About a half an inch is kind of what I'm doing, and then just cutting it straight out and then cutting down the side of the sunglasses case. And hopefully just by watching me, you'll understand what I'm doing. I can't really explain it very well, so just kind of watch me, and I kind of went slow so you guys can see what I was doing. So 
So now I'm just going to fold over the side pieces that we have, these little pieces of tape that we have. I'm just going to fold those over. And this, in case you're wondering, is going to be the front of our sunglasses case. And then here is going to be the flap in the back of our sunglasses case. But I'm just trimming down the side strips so that they're not all jagged and everything. And now I'm just going to fold those over and that I have trimmed them down to the width that I want and they're not all jagged. So yeah, I'm just going to fold those over. So now that I'm just kind of creasing where the front of my sunglasses case is going to kind of be and everything, so that way I kind of have an idea. And now I'm just kind of lining up the side of the sunglasses case with the front of the sunglasses case and then folding that piece of tape over. So that way we are creating a side to our sunglasses case. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Just make sure that the front of the sunglasses case and the side of the sunglasses case meets up together so that it's like a straight line and it's not like jagged or anything. Like the front of the sunglasses case is taller than the side, if that makes sense. That's basically all you want to worry about right there. And then to cover the sticky of the inside of the case, I'm just going to cut a strip of my mint green tape that is two inches long, cut it in half, and just place it in the corners. And now I'm just kind of folding up the back side to the side of the sunglasses case and just folding those pieces of tape over so we create our sunglasses case and can we all just say how many times I've said sunglasses case like has anyone counted sorry for saying that so many times I'm just gonna start referring to it as a case so now that I cut another strip of mint green tape that was two inches cut it in half and placed it in the back two corners to cover up the sticky and now I'm just going to attach velcro to the left and right corners of the flap and then we are done with our case. When our case is completed, you could try to add a wristlet thing if you want. And also there's plenty of room in here if you want to add Kleenexes or Germex or Band-Aids or something if you want. At least in my sunglasses there is. And then also this could be like a clutch or something if you wanted, like a little essentials bag or something. It doesn't have to be a sunglasses case. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Go check out Crafty Angie's channel. She's really cool and she makes really good quality videos and she has really cool thumbnails. Like seriously, her thumbnails are gold. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, share in favor, and don't forget to comment down below video ideas. Sorry if I said sunglasses a lot in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!